Hello, Bill Molino here for Bill's War Game World, and we are starting the Bliss Farm. And here we go. Um, not much jibber jabber. The plan is um, I picked up my um, poker chips, and we're just going to start playing. Well, I, I picked up the Confederate poker chips, the activation chips, so now we're good. I didn't do the Union troops. All right, uh, let's flip a card, everyone. I did a poll on music, and it was pretty much um, music with background, not really loud. Hopefully this isn't too loud. And our first card is um, Union card. So, right off the bat, reload. So this unit's reloaded, and that's what it did. Ooh, we got a jack for two units. I'm going to uh, pause the camera and come back to you, but I'm, I'll let you know what I did. Well, our Union troops, I had to pick two units, and I picked both of those, this one and that one, and we are reloaded. So, the Confederates have the Ace, which is two units or one unit that's been already activated. I'm going to stop the camera. Okay, this is the first unit we're going to activate. We'll put out our poker chip. We're going to do a morale check. So, here we go. This is my morale marker. Got the morale marker there. Grab a grab our trusty cards. I didn't shuffle these. I'm going to shuffle them. And we have total live units in the squad. Roll 1d10, subtract figure total. And let's see what happens. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. And we're using a d20 instead of a d10. And we passed with a 3. No issue. So this unit's functional. And they are going to charge. That's right. Well, wait a minute. 2 inches here, 2 inches there. two. Now they'll never make it. Um... I'm going to pause the camera. i got to think, everyone. David Markle, where are you? I know he would tell me probably to charge. All right, our Confederate unit decided not to charge. We had it fire. And didn't roll. Yeah, I did smoke them. And two hits. Wow. I got two and two and four. I got six hits here. And that was with the cover of the fence. All right, our Confederates have fired. And uh, it was six casualties here. Six casualties. Um, my second Confederate unit. We're going to move the camera. Because I th the Bliss Farm is our objective. And I think I'm going to pour some fire down on there. You know what? I'm going to try charging. Let's do the charging. Let me pause the camera here. Get a better angle. And, uh... Wow. I got an event. There we go. Now, we're using... Evor's event page. And now I'm going to roll my d20... Okay, sorry about the dead air. Wow. Okay, gallon officer risks his life. Wow. Okay, I didn't lose anyone. They're going in. Let's see what the total of alive figures roll. They, the squad 
Cannot move, load, or fire if they fail. Let's roll a die. Welcome back everyone. The Confederate charge at the Bliss Farm was successful. It also took me nearly 15 minutes, 20 minutes to resolve. Um, as you see, the Union have retreated to here. Now for my uh, Bliss Farm rules, I'm only allowing five. The figures in the front, side, back, I'm only allowing five to shoot out the sides or of each building. Uh, five at each wall, if that makes sense. Um, so we have Confederates occupying the farmhouse. Um, that was my uh, Confederate ace. And let's flip another card. That melee took quite a while to resolve. Uh, we'll... Hopefully you're enjoying day two. Um, let's see here. We have a union card has come up. And boy, I think we'll have the unit on the road charge the Confederates at the Bliss Farm. Let me get a different angle. All right, we're going to have this unit here charge the Bliss Farm. Um... I'm sure I can make it. I gotta go find the morale cards. Oh, I left them on the other side of the table. Um, all right, I'll pause the camera. I'll flip the morale cards and see where we're at. Okay, immediate retreat. The uh, uh, it re really frustrating. So um, our Confederates were testing morale to, um, and they have to retreat. Our union of uh, passed their morale and they're going in. So uh, I'll move the Confederates 3D10, and I guess that's real blurry. And I'll move the Yankees, the Union troops, who occupy the Bliss Farm uh, building, the homestead. All right, everyone. This is where I'm at. Our Union troops occupy. The farm building with five figures per side. They're inside, really. Our Confederate unit that was going to get melee that was in the barn ran away. They're right here. So, boy, we've had quite some uh, charges going on. Let's flip a card, everyone. We have... Two activations, a face card for the Union. All right, um, we're gonna we're gonna bring up some reserves. Okay, we're gonna reload. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get reloaded to fight at the uh, the farm. Okay, I reloaded that unit there and the unit that's in the barn. So um, I gotta flip a card. Um, Due to time and trying to run the camera and I'm all by myself and I'm trying to have a fun time I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and, and flip cards and play for a while maybe get through six or f seven uh, um, cards and then come back um, because there's a lot of figures to move and with me keep moving the camera so let me go ahead and do that um, you can leave your comments on this video, um, what you think. But maybe I'll speed up my play because it's taken me almost uh, 40 minutes to get through, I think, a half a dozen cards. Welcome back, everyone. Um, I've, let's see, uh, two hours and ten minutes. That's how long I've been playing the Battle of the Bliss Farm. Um, a lot of action. Um, I think what I'm going to do is switch to the handheld camera. Um, this is one complete turn. Everyone has been activated. A lot has happened since I left you. And I think it would have taken me another hour with me having to film and keep moving the camera around. 
So I'm going to pause here. We're going to switch to the handheld and do a scan of the field. All right. What I'm doing is I'm going to go right to left. Uh, our Confederate unit that was in that field um, got a t pretty much chopped up by the Union Regiment across. Uh, they had some good volleys. They failed their morale. And they skedaddled 3D-10. These two regiments fired at the top of the Bliss Barn. Uh, they were elevated. The Bliss Barn is elevated. So um, the Union troops in the Bliss Farm failed their morale. Now over here, this unit here fired up. This unit moved forward. They're getting ready to charge the Bliss Farm. Um, that unit ran away. They originally had the farm building and then uh, skedaddled. We got a, a um Let's see here. Okay, I had to change angles a little bit. So our Confederate units have moved further up. This one fired, of course, earlier. I think I had that. That was earlier in the game that was recorded. The entire Union line here I have moved forward. Our Zouaves and this unit. Um, the Bliss Farm farm building is was uh, it's been a seesaw battle. The Union had it, Confederates had it, now the Union have it again. Um, again this scenario is a Scott Mingus scenario and the rules are brother against brother. Now this is where my farm building guys ran away. And this unit was supposed to come up and support everyone and I rolled a two. I basically a one and a one so they moved two inches. Uh, sort of frustrating. For the most part I've been averaging around eight to ten inches on the uh, movement rates. So it hasn't been anything too severe. I've had a couple threes, I think. Um, so this is one complete turn. All the units have gone. They're all poker chipped. Um, believe it or not, my back is starting to hurt. Uh, this, uh, not having these figures on movement trays and having to move them individually um, I will say it helped uh, to just go ahead and complete the turn and then put it on video like this. So um, I don't know if I'll come back it's, uh, and do more tonight or leave it the way it is and uh, we'll see how I feel. Um, Alright, right now I'm going to say neither side has lost a full unit. So... Um, the Confederates are losing overall, but it's a seesaw battle. And the objective is to take those two buildings. So, um, I think that's it. Stay safe, be kind, be courteous. Please subscribe. The more subscribers and the more views, the more money I make. And I am donating the money for this month. Last month I donated to the CSS News um, Museum in Kinston. This month it will be the Maryland Veterans Museum in near La Plata, Maryland. All right. Thank you, everyone.